up guys it's Steph and welcome back to my YouTube channel I am so excited for this video today's video is the first of some secret project kind of videos that I want to do and this is the collab video that I keep on like referring to in all my wrap-ups and stuff but for today's video I'm going to be reading my friends recommendations so basically Al, Nicole and Jasmine all recommended me a book and I went and read them and so we're going to see if I can trust my friends recommendations and if they give me good recommendations and stuff I think I'm gonna call it can I trust my friends recommendations because I think that'll just be so funny but basically one of my goals this year is to post more different and interesting videos so I'm planning to post one kind of secret or like experimental video like project a month and it will be going up in the middle of each month so I'm so excited for this but here is Nicole, Jasmine and Elle giving me their recommendations. Hello Steph, um, I just wanted to talk about my recommendation that I gave you which is We Are Okay by Nina LaCour. I absolutely adore this book and it is really sad but also just super introspective at the same time and I think not enough people have read it. It's super quick so I hope you really enjoy it and I don't know. You asked me what book I recommended and you had read most books that I would have recommended so um, we are okay, got that. It's just beautifully written, everything about it is gorgeous so I really hope you like it. Bye! Hi YouTube, my name is Jasmine and I'm from the channel Lamore Day Books, so I was given the task to give Stephanie a book to read. Now, she hasn't read Shatter Me, which like hurts my, hurts my soul so bad, but like I know if I don't give it to her now then she'll read it like eventually because I'll just keep bugging her about it, but the book that I'm giving her is so under hype. She's Australian, the author is Australian, I haven't seen really anyone read this book. I loved it so much, it's like my favorite sci-fi ever. Basically, the book is This Myrtle Coil by Emily Suvada. So, um, Stephanie, I still expect you to read Shatter Me and I expect you to text me the entire time. But for right now, I'm giving her this mortal coil. So, I'll leave Stephanie to figure out what the synopsis is. You know what? I'm not even gonna tell you. This book's amazing. I loved it so much that I sprayed the edges. Like, this book is like my favorite sci fi, and Stephanie told me that she's cool with sci fi. She hasn't read too much of it, but she's willing to get more into the genre. So, girl, you're reading this, and I'm excited for you to read this. And I hope you love it as much as I did. So, yeah. Yeah, Stephanie, you get this mortal coil. I'm excited to see your thoughts on it. I'm excited to watch your vlog and that's all. You're reading this. Bye. <laughs> Hi Steph and hello everyone watching. My name is Nicole and today I'm here to give Steph a book to read. By the time you watch this, she would have already read it, but <laughs> the book I gave her to read was Vicious by V.E. Swab. And I chose this book because of how much I love it myself. I read it last year and I gave it five stars. For me, the story was constantly engaging. I loved the characters. I loved how we had this dual narrative and timeline. So we were constantly switching between like before and after and we are following villains. The, in the before sense, we're following these two college students, Victor and Eli, who are roommates and best friends and are also overachievers. And they go on this quest to find out how to get superpowers. Then we follow kind of the after and in this after they have achieved that, but something went very, very wrong. And these two who were very close are no longer friends. It was just such a different story and just such a fun story. I'm gonna leave it at that because I'm sure Steph's going to explain a lot more about the book and what it is, but I gave it to her because I just really liked a lot of the elements. I really liked that it was a villain origin story and we don't really get many of them or the ones that I have read I've been quite disappointed by. I really liked the way it was told. I thought it was really different. I was engaged the whole time and I hope that this is a book that's different to what Steph has read because I know that was the case to me and I think that's why it really stood out. So yeah, hope you enjoy Steph and I'm really looking forward to hearing your thoughts. So I vlogged my experience reading all of these books so without further ado, Let's get into the video. So, unfortunately, I lost some of the footage from day one. But basically, all I did was I just started We Are Okay and then I then go to the bookstore. So, it's going to cut straight to me at the bookstore. It really sucks that I lost the footage, but I digress.
so it's now a bit later it's 1am right now after we did some shopping and went to the bookstore we ended up getting dinner because it was like seven o'clock and then we got home at around nine so I did a bit more reading of we are okay and did some editing so that's pretty cool but I'm now getting pretty tired I got up to page 136 which isn't bad for one day it's pretty slow right now um not much is happening I'm really loving the romance I didn't realize that there was a female female romance in this so it's super cute I'm loving like the mental health and grief representation so I'm really liking it I don't know if it's a fave but I am enjoying it so I'm really tired so I'm gonna go to bed and tomorrow hopefully I can finish we are okay and then go on to one of the other books so I'll see you all tomorrow so it's next day and we put up the Christmas tree and it looks so pretty. And we also put up other decorations and so the house looks so Christmassy. Ignore the pizza. But yes, I want to get more reading done because I still have like a little less than half of this left. So I really want to just get it done. Psst. Stephanie's lying. She doesn't know how to read. She gets the audio books and gets the um, audio Excuse me. I couldn't find an audio book for We Are R OK. So f*** you. She Dad. gets the audio books to play them and read them for her. <sighs> Really quickly, so, screw you. so I didn't end up making any progress to we are okay because I needed to edit my video and I just posted that so that's all good but I need to do the dishes and because I don't have the audiobook of we are okay and because I want to still get reading done I'm gonna start one of the other books so I'm gonna be reading the only book that I have the audiobook for Jasmine's recommendation for me which is the mortal coil by Emily Suvada I'm actually glad I'm starting something new because we are okay even though it's short I'm just I'm not really enjoying it there's not much happening and it's like I'm getting a bit bored while reading it so I'm happy to be reading something that's a bit more action-packed which basically this book follows Kat when a lone soldier Cole comes to her house and gives the news that her father Lachlan has died but basically he's a scientist that like focuses on like genes and stuff like that and there's like a massive virus going around and he was the only one who had the cure for it but basically her dad left clues to find a vaccine for it so basically she's like on a hunt to find that and stuff like that so it's pretty interesting it's not something I would personally pick up but I trust Jasmine and I hope I enjoy it so I'm gonna go do the dishes and listen to the audiobook so I'll talk to you all later I just finished doing the dishes I took a couple breaks though because it's summer in Australia and it's like 41 degrees today which I just looked up on my iPad and it's hundred and five Fahrenheit so hopefully that will let you understand how hot it is but I got a pretty good way into the book I'm about here so I'm nearly a quarter in I'm on chapter 9 page 87 and oh my god I'm loving this I didn't think I would because it's like a sci-fi dystopian book but the start is so action-packed and like within the first two chapters I was already tearing up like getting attached to the characters which is insane but yeah it's really good like there's so much plot the characters are so interesting I just really am enjoying it it's 7 30 p.m right now so hello Kylo it's like 7 30 p.m though so I'm gonna probably have dinner soon and I want to fin and I want to finish We Are Okay before the end of the day, like I said earlier today, which I'm pretty sure is doable. It's just I've become so used to reading with audiobooks that 
reading it physically like it's become like harder and I'm reading so slow which is something I need to like get back on because that's getting ridiculous so I do really want to try and finish this tonight because it's so short and like I should be done with it by now I think because I've been editing all day and like doing errands and chores I just want to relax for a bit so I might relax before dinner and then after dinner I will start we are okay so I'll check in with you guys later so it's now 3 a.m. and I played a bit too much overwatch but I do want to start reading we are okay again I don't know if I'm gonna finish it tonight because we all know how I am with reading late at night so I'm aiming for the three-quarter mark <laughs> fuck is wrong it's 3 a.m. and you scream like that? So I'm gonna go and read some more of We Are Okay Now. So I'm just gonna go do that. Okay, so I've met the three quarter mark and I'm exhausted. There was a bit of a plot twist. Is that a spider on the roof? I love that, love that. Australia, love that. But I think I'm gonna go to bed because I am so exhausted. So I'll see you all tomorrow. So it's the next day. I'm sorry if you can hear the fan because like it's boiling right now. It's like 44 degrees Celsius and it's really, really hot and I am melting. And also I put a tint on my lips and it like won't come off. And so my lips are really tingly and red. So I apologize. But it's like three o'clock. I'm not good with waking up early. Ever since I finished uni, I've been staying up so late and then sleeping in so late so i woke up at like 12 it's getting ridiculous but i really want to finish we are okay i don't have the book on me it's in my room but i really want to finish that today i also need to clean the house because tomorrow is my birthday and my friends are coming over so that's pretty cool my birthday is the 21st of december if you're wondering so yeah i need to do the dishes again so i'm probably gonna listen to this mortal coil again and hopefully i can get halfway that would be really good today so yes, those are my plans. I don't know, I've just been in a slump lately, but hopefully I can get reading done today. So yes, I'll check in with you guys later. So it's like 3 a.m. and I finished We Are Okay. I will admit I did tear up a bit at the end. The ending really redeemed the book for me. Like there was a bit of a plot twist and I really enjoyed it. I think in the end I'm gonna rate it three stars. It was a bit slow and I like a combination of plot and character development in books and this was very much character development for the most part so I feel like it kind of dragged for me and I didn't really want to pick it up. Towards the end I was enjoying it a bit more but overall I thought the writing was really beautiful and the representation of grief was really good. I understand why people really like this and why it would mean a lot to some people. It wasn't particularly my thing. I think also my enjoyment had to also do with my reading slump because I just haven't been in the mood to pick up books but I do understand why people love it and I think it is a good book and I still recommend it so I'm gonna go to bed and then we'll continue with the other books tomorrow so I'll talk to you then hi guys so it's now days and days and days later it's now 11 p.m. on the 30th of December um because of my birthday and Christmas and everything things got a bit busy so I didn't get any reading done and I was just like it's it's just a very busy time of the year but I finally have time to film so I want to do more reading I haven't made any more progress of this mortal coil but I want to finish it before the end of the year so I'm gonna focus on on reading this today and then tomorrow and then after that we can go on to Nicole's book so I am still a quarter in but I want to hopefully get halfway today or a little bit more than halfway tonight and then tomorrow read the rest and finish it because I currently have 49 books on my Goodreads and my goal is 50 so tomorrow if I don't end up finishing this I'll probably bump it down to 45 but like I really want to reach that 50 so I really want to finish this I'm gonna go off do some reading and then I will check in with you guys later so it's now 2 a.m. I have reached 
halfway of this mortal coil and oh my god I am loving this so much like it's so action-packed and there's so many plot twists and I literally cannot put it down like going into it I kind of had low expectations but like this is so good I'm loving the characters and I'm loving the plot there's a bit of a love triangle kind of a little bit and I am loving it like I don't know I'm just there's so many twists and turns and there's so much action and I just can't put it down and I'm loving it I'm so excited I'm probably definitely gonna finish it tomorrow because I just really want to continue reading but it's really early so I'm gonna go to bed so I'll update you tomorrow with my progress so it's the next day and it's now the last day of 2019 and I'm going to be trying to quickly finish this mortal coil before the end of the year. I finished off yesterday at halfway so I'm going to be reading the rest of it tonight before midnight. My family and I aren't really going to do much. We're just going to be just chilling out at home for New Year's. I'm pretty sure we're just going to have like barbecue so that's pretty exciting. So I'm going to continue reading this and I'll check in with you guys later. So it's now 1am and it's now 2020 so happy new year. So I didn't vlog anything today. I ended up filming my wrap up today and I said that I finished this mortal coil even though I hadn't finished it but I mean like the way I work is that if I finish it before I go to sleep then that means I finished it that day. So technically I'm gonna finish this. I've gone a bit of a way but I still need to read the rest of it. Since it's only 1am I'm hoping to finish it by 3. It should be fine because the audiobook I'm going to listen to it on 2 times speed so it should be good. It's getting so suspenseful and like shit's happening and it's crazy. Shit's been happening the entire book but I'm really enjoying it and I'm so excited to continue reading it so I'll talk to you all later. So it's like 2am and I'm getting pretty far but there was a massive plot twist and I'm losing my mind. I, I'm shook. There's plot twists and then there's the plot twists in this book and I'm, this book is just having so many plot twists back to back to back and it's insane. I'm gonna put a little timestamp here for when you can skip this, but I need to have a personal one-on-one -on -one with Jasmine for a second. Okay, you listen here. This book is, I don't know what kind of sorcery this is, but I don't even know what I want to say, but like Jasmine, this book is making me lose my mind. I can't even. I just, I'm at a loss for words. It's so action packed and so much stuff is going on and it's crazy. I think I'm going mad. Anyway, I'm going to continue reading. I know it's 2 a.m. and I technically lied in my wrap up that I finished it before the end of the year, but I don't care. So I'll check in with you guys later. So I just finished this model coil and I'm at a loss for words. Words. I am convinced Jazz is trying to kill me. That was such a ride. The amount of plot twists and action in that I'm shook and also in love. So yeah, damn. Obviously I'm gonna be rating that five stars. If I could rate it six, I'd rate it six. Like, that was so good. Jasmine, I love you. This is a new favorite series, I swear to God. So, two books down, one more to go. So, I'll talk to you all tomorrow. Hello. It is now, I'm pretty sure it's the 9th. I didn't check. I'm getting really bad at vlogging. I just can't consistently vlog. It's getting ridiculous. I've just been busy editing and filming videos. I have my end of year series of videos so I've just been really busy with that as well as like just life it's just that time of year but I'm finally going to start my first book of 2020 and the last book for this collab which is Nicole's recommendation Vicious by V.E. Schwab I have never read a V.E. Schwab book and I really need to get on that I've been wanting to read this for such a long time but I just haven't gotten around to reading it and I'm so excited to finally read one of her books and I hope it's really good so let's just start reading hello Ooh.
Uh, it is once again days and days and days and days and days later. I think I have a real problem with vlogging. Like, I just can't vlog consistently. It's getting ridiculous. It is the 22nd of January now. I don't know when the last time I vlogged was. Was it the 9th? I'm not sure. But I haven't been vlogging. I was trying to upload every other day, but I ended up giving up because it's way too hard, especially with the equipment I have. It takes me twice as long. On, and it was taking up way too much of my time that I couldn't even do anything else other than videos and that's not healthy so I decided to take a break and so I've barely been reading all throughout this month. I finished my first book of the month a couple of days ago, which was Every Heart a Doorway, which is like less than 200 pages. So I'm kind of annoyed that it took me so long. But as for Vicious, I am about a quarter way through and I'm on chapter 25 and shit's getting real and I'm loving it so much. It's really interesting. It's like The Diviners where it's super cinematic and I can like picture it in my head like a movie and I love books like that so I'm really enjoying this one um and I want to continue reading it obviously it's taken me a while because once again it has no audiobook I've become so accustomed to audiobooks when reading that reading physically without an audiobook just on my own it takes me a long time so it's taken me a while but I'm hoping to get up to halfway today and then up to three quarters tomorrow and then the day day after finish it so that's my goal I'm on page 110 and part two which is halfway is on page 173 so about 60 pages which that's doable I can do that so I'm gonna do that I also need to edit tomorrow's video I'm gonna go do that I will update you guys on my thoughts instead of being like hey it's days and days later so yes there was a pretty big plot it's not so much a plot twist but it was more like something crazy happened that I didn't see coming and I was like oh my god if you've read the book and you want to know what I'm talking about I'm talking about chapter 23 which is on page 106 and 107 that's what I'm talking about yes because I don't want to put spoilers in this vlog I'm going to go the sun is setting so it's going to be dark when I get back to you but I will talk to you guys later the more that I read this, the more that I realise that this is literally everything that I wanted Renegades to be. Because it like explores a lot about who's the villain and who's the hero and there's like powers and action and like it's just so good. And so I'm just like, this is also an adult book so I understand why I like this better. I can understand if people like Renegades. I could kind of not really understand why people wouldn't like this. But if there's people who think that Renegades is better than this. I have just a few questions. I'm nearly halfway and I'm currently reading 10 pages and then editing my new video. Reading 10 pages, editing my new video. So that's been going good. Like I said before, I'm really enjoying it. I don't really know what to say, like what thoughts to give about why I'm enjoying it. Like the action's really good and like the pacing is awesome and the plot is interesting and action packed. Not as action packed as this mortal coil but it's still action-packed and I'm really enjoying it so I'll check in with you guys later so I made it halfway it's now a lot later and I'm really enjoying it I'm loving all the characters Mitch Sydney and Victor are all so different but like the group of them together is amazing and I'm loving the action and I'm just I'm really really enjoying it but I'm now on part two so I don't know what's gonna happen next but we'll find out tomorrow so I'll talk to you all later so it's the next day and I'm going to continue reading Vicious by V.E. Schwab. Just ignore my brother playing video games in the background. I didn't end up finishing editing my video yesterday so I'm going to do what I did yesterday where I read a bit, edit a bit, read a bit because that was going really well yesterday. And I also have to apply for a few jobs so I'm going to do that. So let's just get reading. I just started reading and I just realized that part two is going to be told from Eli's perspective and I don't know how to feel. I feel like I'm going to read from his perspective and I'm going to like him as well and end up not liking Victor and not knowing who's good and who's bad or just liking both perspectives. I'm just like right when I was starting to love Victor and Mitch and Doll and Sydney, like the whole group, it's changed and so I'm like, why? But I'm going to keep reading. 
false alarm I read the first chapter of part two and now it's chapter two and it's Victor's point of view again so I'm happy okay anyway I'm gonna continue reading so it's like 6 30 a.m. I procrastinated a bit with editing and reading and I ended up staying up all night interchanging between editing and reading and editing and reading and my iPad ended up dying and my iPad is stupid where it doesn't charge unless it's dead and so it ended up dying and now it's charging right now so I can't edit even though I haven't finished editing the video which is annoying and I'm nearly at halfway but I'm just blanking out and I'm so exhausted that I just need sleep I've been up way too long and I need to go to bed my prediction was right about Eli that being in his perspective I would grow to like him more both Victor and Ellie both are like bad people <coughs> They're both bad people, but like being in their perspective, I can uh, kind of understand their motives and like enjoy it. So I really like that aspect of it. I'm also loving Serena and Ellie's dynamic with one another. I think it's really cool and I love her power. It's awesome. So yes, that's where we're at. I don't know where this last quarter is going to go, but we'll find out tomorrow because I need sleep. So I'll talk to you all tomorrow. So it's like 7 o'clock. It's now the 25th of January. I didn't end up filming yesterday because I was just feeling really down and unmotivated. And earlier today, I was feeling the same way, but I'm starting to feel a little bit better. Yesterday, I ended up reading about 25 pages. So I have less than a quarter of the book left. So I'm planning on finishing it and binge reading it today. So that's what I want to do. It's getting really good and like there's things happening. So I'm really excited to finish it finally. So yeah, I'll talk to you later. sit here you're cute so I've been reading a bit on and off it's like it's pretty late I've been doing other stuff today and I had dinner and so I haven't been reading this entire time but I'm getting to the last 15 pages of this book and shit's going down and I wanted to vlog my reactions to the stuff that's happening because I am so stressed for all of the characters everything is going down and I'm freaking out, so I'm going to keep reading. Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. I am really starting to regret not having spoilers in these vlogs because these last two books are killing me that I can't say anything about it and what I'm reacting to. But the way this is written, it's just like... I've said this like 50 times, but it's just like The Diviners, where it's literally like a movie. Like, the POVs in the chapters will change, and it'll be like scenes and like set out like scenes in a movie, and like, it's killing me. Oh my god. Uh, and like, the characters care for each other so much. Like, Victor cares for Sydney so much, even though like, it's not really expected for his character. And I'm just like, I love. Okay, I'm gonna keep reading. <laughs> Every time something happens and I'm shocked, he keeps on looking at me concerned like, You okay, Steph? What's wrong? You're so cute. I love you so much. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm not even done. I'm not even done. I'm just like 
no. No, 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 no. Things will be okay. I'm, I'm trying to tell myself things will be okay. I'm trying to get my reactions, but I can't tell you what I'm reacting to. So it's really, really freaking hard. Page 335. There you go. That's what I'm reacting to. Thank you. I'm going to keep reading. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. Oh my god. This ending is a fucking amazing. Holy shit. I'm gonna keep reading. There's like three pages left. I fucking love this. I love this so much. So I finished it. The last book for this video. It is now done. I have read them all. <sighs> oh my god. That ending was amazing. That was like the best ending ever. But like now I, I really want to read the sequel. Like I really want to read the sequel now. So first V Schwab book done. Oh, oh, I loved it. Oh, it was so good. Okay, now on to Steph for the wrap up of all the books. So, yes. On to you, future Steph. Hello, you have watched all of the vlog and now it's time for the wrap up. So, my final thoughts. As you guys saw, the first book that I read was Elle's recommendation, which was We Are Okay by Nina LaCour, which overall I rated 2.5 stars. I do think this is a really important book. I understand why people love it and why it means so much to a lot of people. But for me, it just didn't work. I don't know if I was just in a slump, but I couldn't connect to the characters and I found the overall plot to be really slow and a bit boring in my opinion. I really like plot-based books or character and plot-based books where the characters develop while there's a really fast-paced plot. So when reading this, I found it to be a bit boring in my opinion. I loved the mental health representation and I loved the way that it wrapped up and I really appreciate the female-female representation but I just was really bored throughout the whole thing. I did enjoy some aspects of it, but overall I just couldn't connect to it the way that I wanted to. So that's why I gave it 2.5. I understand why Elle recommended it to me and I'm so, so happy that it worked for so many people and that so many people love it. It just, it didn't work for me. I feel so bad rating it, like really low. This is the thing with these videos. I feel bad for rating like the recommendation bad and that I didn't love it. I'm so sorry, Al. I still love you. I'm sorry. The next book I read was Jazz's recommendation, which was This Mortal Coil by Emily Suvada. Oh my god. I have hated staying silent about my thoughts on this. Like, it's infuriating like I wish I had gotten this video up because if I had this would have definitely been on my top five books of 2019 like it was that good and it made me so upset that I just couldn't talk about it to anyone so I'm so excited this is now finally up oh my goodness. I had the lowest of expectations with this book and I think that's what made me love it so much. I was expecting it to be really technical and like drag on and on and I wasn't expecting to love it as much as I did. The plot twists were incredible and had me shook and I love the way that it ended. I loved the romance and it was just, it was just so good. There was so much action from page one 
and I just could not put it down and it was incredible. So thank you so much Jazz for giving me a new favourite series because I am so, so in love with this and I'm so excited to continue on with the series. Like I'm just so excited. I need to read the sequel and then we need to buddy read the last book, okay? It's going to happen. And the last book that I read for this video was Nicole's recommendation which was Vicious by V.E. Schwab. I am in love with this. I'm so obsessed with this. It's, it's insane. The characters were all so unique and morally grey and I loved the points of view between past and present and my favourite thing in books is when it reads like a movie and it's just so cinematic and I can visualise it perfectly in my brain. And this was exactly what this was like. The POVs would shift within the chapter like it was like scenes of a movie. And so like it would uh, like have one point of view and then it'll be a cliffhanger at the end and change to another point of view and then a cliffhanger at the end. And then it'll go back to that previous point of view and it's just, I can't explain it. It's just so good. It was incredible. I couldn't shut up about it and I needed to talk about it with someone so I ended up like explaining the whole plot of it to my two brothers and my sister and now my brother really wants to read this as well because he loves it so oh my god oh my god this book is just so good I'm expecting it to be on my top five books of 2020 or top whatever oh I just love this so much. It's so good. And I feel so bad that I love this so much. And I love this Mortal Coil so much. And I didn't end up loving We Are Okay. I feel terrible. But just... These recommendations were so good. And I'm so mad at myself that I haven't read V.E. Schwab yet. And I need to read Vengeful. And I need to read A Darker Shade of Magic. And I just need to read all of her books. Because her writing is so good. I'm so excited. I can now scream about these books. Oh my god. Oh, also, if I didn't say it before, this gets a five stars. And this Mortal Coil gets five stars if it wasn't obvious before so that's the end of this video i'm so excited that this is now finally going up and it's finally official and i'm just i'm so excited so thank you all so much for watching if you like this please give a big thumbs up i don't know what i was doing with my hands this video was honestly so fun to make and i low-key want to do a part two where I get another three of my booktube friends and I ask them for a recommendation and then I read them. So that might be something that I have to sort out. Subscribe for more videos every week. I upload every Wednesday and Saturday. All my social media links are down in the description box below. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Boop!